Let's talk interest rates. So I know a lot of people are concerned about the rising interest rates. And so I just wanted to shed some light on interest rates over a longer period of time. And maybe if you're new to the housing market, you don't know what the interest rates have looked like over an extended period of time. So did you know in the 80s, the interest rates were over 16%? And I talked to someone the other day that said her first mortgage, her interest rates were 21%. I don't know what the special circumstances were there, but that's a pretty high interest rate. In the 1990s, interest rates were as high as 10.13%. So even then, we're talking about a substantial increase over what the rates are now. And then uh, in the 2000s, we're talking about interest rates in the 8% range. And that leads up to when the market changed in 2008 and there was an abundance of houses on the market and the Fed lowered the rates to try to cope with that. So even though interest rates have been historically low for several years, the interest rates that we're at right now at the high fives is really still a great rate. And I know that's hard to see when we've been so um, spoiled by the interest rates we've had for the last few years. But I just want to give you some perspective there. So um, we are just in a period where it's going up slowly, um, but it's still the right time to buy a house. You don't want to wait um, and the rates possibly go up several more times. Uh, so if you're thinking about buying, reach out to us. The other thing I want to talk to you about is the different types of interest we pay. So. You know, interest on a house, a house is an asset. Over time, it's gonna appreciate and it's gonna to add to your portfolio. You are gonna make money off of that house, either when you sell it or maybe you take out an equity loan in the future, that house adds to your wealth. Loans on things like, that depreciate like furniture. How many of us have went out and bought $4,000 worth of furniture and put it on a credit card? Or maybe um, a car even, even though car values now are kind of higher than we would normally see, generally cars depreciate as you buy, drive them off the lot. So if you've ever had a credit card with a 10% interest rate or a 21% interest rate, then you would see how a 6% interest rate on a home is something that actually adds value to your life. Whereas the things that you're buying on credit that you can't sell next year for the same price, those things don't add value. So please don't be afraid of the interest rate that we have right now. It's still a very low rate and it's a great time to buy a house. I hope that helps make sense of the interest rate and the market. This is Sherry Witten with Ward Realty Services.